In this video we're going to be taking a look at measuring capacity within the metric units and the capacity and the metric units are based upon liters. Okay, so you can see we have kiloliters all the way over here, all the way down to milliliters. If you think about measuring distances with metric units, it's based upon meters. We have kilometers all the way down to millimeters. Okay, now the two main ones we're going to be looking at today are liters and millimeters, milliliters. Sorry about that. So liters and milliliters today. Okay, now when converting metric units of capacity, what you need to do is count the number of jumps between units, then move the decimal the same number of spaces in the same direction. So if you remember how to convert metric units of measurement, you'll be easily um, prepared for converting metric units of capacity because you can see we still have the same milla, centa, deca, deca, hecto, kilo. Those are all the same. Okay, so if you remember 10 millimeters equals a centimeter, 10 milliliters equals a centiliter, and so on. Okay, but like I said, the main ones we're going to be looking at today are liters and milliliters. So the conversion for liters and milliliters, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters, just like one meter equaled 1,000 millimeters, and then one milliliter equals one thousandth of a liter. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is either multiplying by a thousand or dividing by a thousand. Okay, whenever we're converting something from liters to milliliters, okay, we're going to be multiplying by a thousand milliliters to liters we're going to be dividing just remember smaller to larger you divide larger to smaller you multiply now a way to remember this we have our friend Ken again Ken is driving animals as he always does and what is he driving this time Ken is driving lions okay so to remember the metric units of capacity, you can remember Ken has driven lions down country meadows. Okay, so we have the kiloliters, hectoliters, decaliters, liters, deciliters, centiliters, milliliters. Now when converting these measurements, I'm going to show you a few of these problems and then after I'm finished showing you a few of these, we'll do some together, then I'll have you do some all by yourself. So we have 4.2 milliliters equals how many liters? So what we do, we're going to divide by a thousand. And remember whenever you divide by a power of 10, then the number of zeros you're dividing by means how many, how many places you move your decimal to the left. Okay, so we have 4.2, and what we're doing is we're dividing this by 1,000. Why, why are we dividing it by 1,000? Because 1,000 milliliters equals 1 liter. Okay, so since we're dividing it by 1,000, we have 1, 2, 3 zeros. And because we have 3 zeros, we're going to take our decimal point and move it 3 spaces to the left. So we have 4... Point two. I'm going to move it three spaces to the left. One, two, three spaces to the left. And I'll put my decimal point right here. Now, whenever we have, whenever we're going around numbers that are not there, we create baskets. And what we do, we just drop those zeros right in the basket. Okay. So we have 4.2 milliliters. We can see now is 40 to 10 thousandths of a liter. So we'll just write our answer point zero zero four two. So once again we're dividing by a thousand because we're dividing by a thousand moving our decimal point you can see three spaces to the left. Let's take a look at another one. Now we're looking at 
800 liters equals how many milliliters? Now since we're going from larger to smaller, we're going to be multiplying by 1,000. So if you remember how to multiply by powers of 10, however many zeros you have, that's how many places to the right you will move your decimal. So we're just going to rewrite the problem. 800. Okay, now we have an imaginary decimal to the right. Okay, that's always understood there with a whole number. The decimal is to the right of the number, so we're going to multiply this by 1,000. Okay, so you can even write out 1,000 here. Okay, now even when you multiply any number by a power of 10, whether it's a decimal or not, since we're not, we don't even have a decimal here, what you can do, since you're not even dealing with a number that has a decimal in it, you can see 800 is just a whole number, you can just add the zeros on to the end. So we have 800 times 1,000. We're going to add our three zeros from our 1,000 to the very end. We use a different color of ink here to add these three zeros. One, two, three. So 800 liters equals 800,000 milliliters. Okay, so as you can see, when we're converting liters to milliliters, you're multiplying by 1,000. When you're converting milliliters to liters, you are dividing by 1,000. Okay, and the reason for that, 1,000 liters, I'm sorry, 1,000 milliliters equals a liter, and um, vice versa as far as the conversion goes. Now I want you to get out your math journal and a pencil. We'll do a couple of these together, then I'll have you do some all by yourself. So 1 and 4 tenths liter equals how many milliliters? What we do, we're going to rewrite the 1.4 think about this, this is a larger to smaller unit. So because of that we're going to be multiplying by 1,000. Okay, so we're going to take our 1.4 we're going to multiply that by 1,000. So because we're going to multiply that by 1,000 we're going to move our decimal point three places to the right. So I'm going to rewrite it, 1.4 move this three places to the right. One, two, three places to the right. I'll put my decimal right here. Drop my two zeros right in my basket. So we have 1.4 liters equals 1,400 milliliters. We'll do one more problem together and I'll have you do some all by yourself. Now we have three tenths milliliters equals how many liters, so we're going from smaller to larger now. Because of that, we're going to be dividing by 1,000. Now remember, whenever you divide by powers of 10, however many zeros are in your number, that's how many places to the left you will move your decimal. So we will just rewrite the problem. 3 tenths divided by 1,000. So what we will do, we will take our number, move that decimal point three places to the left. Remember, we're dividing, so our numbers are going to be getting smaller. One, two, three places to the left. Put my decimal point right there. Drop my zeros in the basket. So we have three-tenths milliliters. equals three ten thousandths of a liter. Okay, now it would not make sense if I went the other way. Okay, let's say for example I was mistaken and I came up with the number 300. So three tenths of a milliliter would not equal 300 liters. Remember, liters are much bigger than a milliliter. Okay, so it's important to double check your answer and make sure it makes sense. Now what I'm going to have you do is rewrite this problem in your math journal and I want you to complete this problem all by yourself and press pause when you start to complete the problem and then when you're finished press play and I'll have the correct answer for you. So I want you to pause the video right now. 
Okay, now we have our answer, 222 milliliters equals 222 thousandths of a liter. Okay, so what I did is I divided by 1,000. I moved my decimal three places to the left for the answer of 222 thousandths of a liter. Let's move on to the next problem. Our final problem, I want you to write this problem down, work it out in your math journal, and when you're finished, you can press play. I will have the correct answer for you, so I want you to pause this video right now. Okay, now we have our answer of 18 thousandths. Okay, 18 milliliters equals 18 thousandths of a liter. Why do I know that this is correct? Because my only other option would be multiplying this problem by a thousand, and that would mean 18 milliliters would equal 18,000 liters. Okay, we know that would not make sense at all, so it's important to double check your answer and, answer and make sure it makes sense. So if you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.